I first started listening to Instagram, man. Because we had to do all that motherfucking Zoom, man. All that. Look at Instagram. <laughs> I can see I you clear. I can see, I can see the cracks in this, and I don't know. They might be in my screen, but I can see. I can tell what color them, them blinds are back there. Oh, uh, that's what's see the boy. Yeah. I'm in the uh, I'm in see, hotel room. You, I'm in the hotel room too. You see my boy Nipsey back there, though. That's my brother back there. Oh, okay. I got you. I see that. That's yeah. dope. All right, let go. You want to talk about the boy Bart, man? What you want to know about the boy Bart? You, hey, yeah. when we left off. When we left out, we were talking about this lady right here, man. Shouts out to her, man. That's mom's? Who's that? Yeah, that mom dukes right there. Mom cut her with me in the barbershop one time, too. Swell on oh, Jesus something. Yeah, we was talking about um about what got you into barbering. Uh, kind of tell everyone about how you got introduced to the barbering world. All right, this how I did it. Now, y'all gonna think I'm lying because I know how to tell a story. So, look, check move. All right, look. We was in, we, 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 we in the West End, right? Picture where we at. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to put my cap on. All right, we in the West End, right? Right there where the old blockbusters used to be at. Back then, it was blockbusters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, daddy, my daddy had a shop right there in the West End, Q-Time Plaza. My dad and my uncle run. My my uncle run was the money of the family. You know what I'm saying? He having papers. You know what I'm saying? My dad is for the hustle. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, they went and opened up a barbershop right there on um in the West End. Made it. It's still running today. How it's set up. That's how my my dad made that barbershop to be like that. Whoever took it over, they just carried it on. You know what I'm saying? It just yeah. got passed through. I wasn't old enough. I was young. So I couldn't have got it. My mama got it, but you know what I'm saying? She let it go. She didn't want to do it like that. She moved on. But I say that to say, I was in the barbershop one day with my dad, and he was busy. And the old man Fred came in the barbershop, one of the bald head. I was back there on my game playing, sweeping up and shit. Um, my daddy was busy. He kept a chair next to him. It was open. So any barber that's busy, I already know what the next chair is to him if it's open. That's the, that's the dugout. Uh, you might can slide a nigga in if you, you know what I'm saying, he paying right. I know what I do. Yeah. If, a chair, if a chair open next to me, I'm going to use it. I know how to. Yeah. I can do two heads at once. Three Damn, heads at once. Damn. Four heads at that's once. That's <laughs> it ain't never steps, bro. I just do the same step that I did on him. Do it on him. Do it on him. Do it on him. Come back. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa. All right. The man needed a bald head, bro. He was rushing my daddy. He said, shit, man, Jenny, give me the clipper. My daddy didn't give nobody the clipper. He said, well, shit, let your son do it. Why they do that? <laughs> that was the beginning. That's how it all started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My fur head was a bald head. Old man Fred. He, he passed away though. He gone. Shouts out to old Yo, man Fred. Fred. You know what I'm saying? Now, if 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 you from Cascade, you know Fred. You know what I'm saying? You know how folks be in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? For sure, bro. That's that's very inter interesting how that happened. How you you got put right on the spot, and you was like, "Yo, I'm not letting that even phase me. I'm gonna put yeah. it down." And 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 that. Put it and down. Yeah, and that's awesome. And it went yeah. from there. I went from I went from playing basketball, playing games on Nintendo, to getting them clippers every day after school, trying to cut somebody here and make some money. That's what yeah. I used to do. Now, when I when I was young, cutting here, right? This is what I used to do. After school, I get out of school. My mama had a shop, right? So what I do? I go to the shop, try to bring some nigga from school to the shop. To cut their hair just so I can go back to school and be like, oh boy, you know, shout to cut my hair. And then make a little money. I wasn't tripping on no money. You know, I ain't wasn't paying no bills. It was make shoe money or some, you know, little shit. I was in high school, so you know how what that was. It was just the fact of cutting hair. That yeah, shit yeah. Get the name out there. Yeah, because yeah, because you know, yeah, like just 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 to be in high school and then have that name, like, yo, my man cut me up, you know, that that brings popularity for sure. Yo, so how, how when when you was doing those first cuts, how much were you charging at that time? Oh I was just about to tell you, look, 
Now, now professionally underground, when I was young, what I used to do, I used to on the weekends, I used to go to my mama's shop. Now, I used to go to the Kroger's, right, and get cardboard box, you know, the little cardboard thing, the paper, the you know, yeah. what you if you got a if you got a project poster, you know the uh, light pole, you know the light yeah. pole. I right, I'm from Cascade, the middle part, you know, that's the hood. I right, they got shelters, they got churches. It's a house that sit right there where, church, where churches is. In the back of churches sit right down where churches is, that house right there. It's a light pole that sit right there. That's the main light. And it's the four-way. It's the four-way. It's, four, it's, you know, you got you coming from Westwood, you coming from Dunley, you coming from Cascade, and you coming from the West End Cascade. Yeah, yeah. So I say that to say I used to put my posters saying men five, men $7, kid $5. That's and crazy. whoever came in there off that poster, I cut them. My mama let me cut them, and I cut them. I used to cut yeah. the neighborhood, boy. I was a young nigga cutting grown folks, I swear. <laughs> so, I mean, but that's pretty dope. Like, if you got people that trust you, you know, you you you, you were young, you were just getting your hustle on, and uh, for them to allow you to cut their hair, that, that was a pretty good look too, right? For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess the word got out quick that you was putting them down. But yo, for those for those people, I'm, and I'm gonna go back and edit the video. Um, tell us a little bit about who you are as a person. Like, what started all all of this with with uh, Black Bart Hustle? Oh, first of all, being that Bart is a barber, damn show for show. You ain't gotta know for sure. You ain't gotta add. I get when customers ask me, "Am I cutting?" I I kind of get pissed off. You know why? <laughs> because I'm 25, I'm 25 eight. Damn, 25 eight on him, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. So yeah, brother. So um, how has the people in um Atlanta received you as far as being the barber that's on the come up with all the things you got popping right now, all the different streams? You know, you got the clothing, you got you got the shop, you got all this stuff popping. How are the other barbers looking at you? Are you looked at as is is a threat? Are they or are, are they feeling the heat? Or are you raising the bar to let them know, yo, you you gotta just get in where you fit in when it comes to getting this bread. I got barber cynic shirts, bro. That say I run through them. <laughs> ain't none of these niggas hit me. I get I I obviously I get they ain't running through them. Or they don't use them, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But for a nigga saying, yeah, they fuck with me. You know, a lot of these niggas cut hell just because I cut hell. I showed them the way. Uh, I made Barman look cool. And now and, and now they're all trying to get on it. Yo, how long have you been uh, cutting for total? And how long have you been Let me tell you how long I've been cutting with a, how long I've been cutting with a license? 2005 yeah, yeah. it's say. They say 2005 on my license. But Damn. how long I've been cutting here in a barbershop, it started my senior year in high school, Doug High. I told my teacher in high school, 12th grade year, they said what I wanted to be. I told her ATM. <laughs> ATM. <laughs> oh, and I am an ATM, really. You got to think about it. I am really an ATM. I don't do nothing but sit and yeah. collect money all day. And that's what I like doing. I like doing that shit. That shit feel good. It give me a rush. I if I can that. goddamn go, but look, if I can go home for a thousand days and just put that shit up, <laughs> <laughs> killing it. Yo, is your girl all right back there? Is uh, she hitting that? Uh, she hitting that? Uh, that uh, gumbo back there, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, brother. Yo, man. So tell me about the ATL, man. Tell me what your role is in the A. I know you're so, I mean, you are ATL. You know what I'm saying? So tell me a little bit about that and about how, um, what, what responsibility you have to the A and as far as what you bring to the table. Man, well, shit, I'm talking to Atlanta now because I have, you know what I'm saying? I, I look up, like the day I was, I was semi slow. Why should I be slow? A nigga like me that love to cut hell. I don't know. But a lot of folks claim that they don't know where I'm at. I'm at 3030 Hitting Drive, right there where I love Wings at Kroger's. 
You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit around the subway. You know what I'm saying? It's a girl in the front of us in the front plaza that do eyebrow. I mean, she do piercing. She like the dopest piercing in Atlanta. The dopest. Her, 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 uh, her name of her shop is called Euphoria uh, Piercing. But I, I'm just saying I did say, man, Atlanta really be on like who the fuck popular. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to go ask Instagram who popular today and then they fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? We don't really be like how it's supposed to. That's why it be niggas that's from not here that win. Like my boy Vic. Vic ain't from Atlanta, and they say he the best ball. Which he a young ball, but cool. I fuck with him. I learn from him. He the best. I think he the best. Yes. He doing his thing. Yeah. Like for his time, like for his me being the, the rookie of the year, I'm 37 years old, so I can't be that nigga. I look like him, but I can't be. I ain't young like them. I look young, but I ain't. But I got enough energy to, be, to hang with him, though. I put me in the ring. But, like, they say he the <laughs> he the best ball. Like, <clears throat> the, like it's, it's some niggas ain't even got IG that's the best barbers in Atlanta, bro. That's crazy. Like, like Instagram, like, Instagram, I made niggas that cut hair, they, they act like beauticians. <laughs> so, so you think if IG didn't exist, do you think that uh, hell no, half of these niggas would be popping? Cause they ain't got that hustle, and that's what separate them. So, where would you be at without IG? Cause I know you were popping before IG, like you said. You, you I, ain't, I don't know what I, I mean, what I'm not gonna do is speak down on IG. Could the good yeah. could, could a barber guy uh, uh, delete my page tomorrow when I wake up and I'd be looking <laughs> fucked up in there? Yo, that's so, crazy right yeah. there. No, no trust. You know, I ain't gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk down on it. I love it. That's why you see my page. I go hard every day and I post all my cut. My barber shop want me to stop it. You know why they say I'm Ted? Damn. So um <laughs> So that that's crazy, yo. So what what separates you from everyone else in the barber game? I'm a real fucking barber. Now sum it up. So what does that even mean? You're a real bar b barber, like just the way you approach. Go the look game. at your uncle barbers. Go look at your uncle barbers. <laughs> Not none of these niggas is fake. These nigga fake. These nigga cartoony. I'm not. Like 360 Jeezy, a cartoon. I'm not that. I'm a real barber. I'm approachable. These nigga cartoons, man. I don't like. I, I don't like like barbers that I don't like, and I, I like. I don't hate nobody. I love the man, but he's a hater. He takes advantage of people's flaws and put them on camera and try to make money off of it. Ooh, yeah. God got some for him. He got me. I'm an embarrassment. Cause he That's he fucked with God's son. He fucked with God's son in episode seventeen. Go watch it. I'm I was in depression. Show. I was in depression mode. I had just lost the, the same girl that I lost again, but she's gone. Second time, you can't do it three times. Nope, she's out of here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, she like see y'all. When I do, when the money come, y'all gonna get the movie. The boy Bart Huss. That's what's yeah. up. Yo, Spike um, type too. Yo, like who who created all of this hustle that's inside of you? Because it just seems like you are getting a 25 8, like you said. Who who planted Bro, you see, I keep telling you, you keep you see one thing, what you gotta do, you gotta look up, bro. Look up. G O D, bro. That's him. Don't ask who. I ain't looked at none of these niggas. I looked at them and, and mixed this shit in. That's why I call myself the sauce. Want me to tell you what I really look like outside of these tattoos? I'm really a smart college dude. Oh, that's what's up, man. I didn't even know that. No, when I say I'm a smart college student, I never did go. The streets raised me. Yeah, dude, there's, there's game up in those streets, bro, all the time, man. I mean... There's, there's book smart and there's street smart, right? And those that are street smart know how to survive. They know how to get it. And they don't have to worry about... You, you, I'm, you my life is backwards. In. My life's going to go backwards. I have, I'm going to get it backwards. Damn. 
I have to go through the fuck ups first. And that's the best way. Yeah. I, that's the best way because I know what, how to feel. I know, I know every emotion. I know, damn, he going through what I've been through. Damn. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I know. I'm going to let him in. All right, yeah, nah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I see where he going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that what I, that's how I'm going to go through Yo, so um, so what inspired you to uh to uh get into the to get into the drip, man? You got some dope stuff out there. Cause I can't afford all this shit they be putting out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what you? But but yo, like, what what's inspiring you to come up with those designs, man? Because it's like money spelled backwards. Like that shit is crazy. I'm Kanye, little brother, just in hood for him. <laughs> Kanye, I'm about to... <laughs> oh, that's crazy, and they dog. and she said she said that I can't get the girl. What's her name? Ruby who? What's the girl name? Ruby. Ruby what? Rose. She said that I can't get Ruby Rose. Who's that? Who's Ruby Rose? I've never heard of her before. Check her out, my boy. Ruby Rose. She prime time. time. <laughs> she prime time. Tell us a little bit about Atlanta. You said you've never been outside of the 285. Now I said, I said that people say that I will never leave outside of 285 because oh. I'd be so I see, I'd be so trapped into can help. Like they right though, but I say I'm about to start traveling outside of 285. Like I'm about to take this shit on the road. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh man. So Can so 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 what's the first spots that you're gonna try to hit 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 up once you leave Atlanta? I wanna go to LA. I wanna cut in comps. I know a ball about that that told me I can come out there and cut. That'll be dope, man. LA's got a whole different vibe. Do you think they're ready for you? I'm a blend I'm gonna blend in though. I'm counting for <laughs> I'm gonna blend oh, in. Oh man. In today's world, if you ain't got no motherfucking mouthpiece, you're gonna lose, boy. You better sit down out here. You're gonna yeah. be hungry as hell. <laughs> hungry as a fuck. And I'm ready to talk to whoever we need to talk to, too. So if you find that man we need to talk to with that money, let me know. God got God gonna speak through me. I can't wait, Sean. That's why I be keeping them hundreds in me. Hey, look, that this clothing line shit ain't even, I don't care if it works. That shit is manifesting what I'm doing. I'm just making money off of it. I like keeping that hundred dollar bill in my face. Up under my chair, I got four million dollars up under my chair. They they fake million dollar bills. You know how I many folk been trying to gray up them motherfuckers? <laughs> That's crazy, yo. <laughs> oh man. That's awesome. I swear. Yo. Yo, so like uh five years from now, brother, like what where do you see yourself? Kicking it. Kicking it. If God don't take me away, go kicking it. Oh, man. I ain't going to be working. 40? Nah, you said five. I got five. three more years till I turn 40. So that's that. like 40. I'm, next year, I'm not going to have to work hard. I just told you. Dude, tell us tell us about that fortieth birthday party. How crazy is that gonna be, bro? <laughs> hey, just make sure she cute. Make sure she cute, and make sure we have fun. Oh, that's what's up, dog. Yo, what what's your favorite strip club out there in the A, bro? Blue what's flame, blue flame, flame. Yeah. Oh man, Where's they don't make you do too much. They don't make you do too much, and it's cheap, five dollars. See, niggas gotta stop going in and thinking it's the object is to spend money. That's they you you get you might as well wear a duck head shirt, get that shit creased up, and, and, and wear some socks. <laughs> if you still going in there spending money on like that, that shit easy. Oh, you got you got you got Instagram girls on pictures hitting more than the girls that's hitting in the club. Cause it, cause guess what? Cause guess what? It's more of a chase with an Instagram picture. Mm. First, going to see that same new bitch every day. She gets stale. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. Like, the game about to be computer in a minute. 
They already winning already. You know who winning? You know who the biggest girls that's winning on Instagram is? I'm about yeah. to tell you. Feet models. They killing the game. <laughs> they making money off showing their toes. What the fuck? You that's lucky I ain't no so girl. <laughs> the bitch making money off taking pictures off her toes. She say she quit her job. What type of shit is that? Yeah, let's uh let's definitely check out Blue Flame, man. Once we uh once I get out. There, oh man, I can't uh, wait. I got the key. <laughs> I got the key. We go to look after when it closed. Oh man, that's crazy. Yo, brother, but thanks so much for your time. Um, it's been a blast, brother. I'm so glad that you had a chance to uh bless people with what you had to say. I think it's important, man. I think you represent a lot of people out there just to let them know that you're getting it the way you getting it and it's it's just awesome to do what you're doing, man. So um any any words out there for uh, the people out there for Barber View TV, man, out there to uh, to, to, hey, man. to be checking for you? Hey, look, if you're a young dude, if you're a young female, man, look, man, if you're about 16, I, I say from the age of 16 to like 21 right now, man, if you want to learn an occupation that's going to make you money for life, that you can you can set the ball on it. Like, when, like really now, new barbers can... I know a girl that says she just learned how to cut hair in March. She already charging $100, but she can cut. She fine. It's just, it just what's going to fuck her up is she going to think she Michael Jordan when she came in the league in March. Mm. But Instagram will let you do that because Instagram gets you followers. Followers... To blow the average nigga up, mine up. It'll make them think they bigger than who they is. So is it possible? I, I, hey, look. One time I did. I got, I, I thought, I, one time I thought I was bigger than who I was. But I had to go through that to think that. Now, I don't think I'm nobody. I ain't nobody. Nothing but love, brother. Um, I do appreciate your time, man. And I look forward to fucking with you down the road for sure. Hey, we're going to hit the flying tour, man. I'm going to get them tell the girls, got them get ready. Get ready. Mario's coming to town. Blue Flame, holla at your boy. <laughs> uh, no, yo, yo, I appreciate you so much, man. Good luck. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bro. Appreciate you. All right, brother. Peace.